Hey guys, Kiki here. Well, today I want to talk about a move in technology that's been, uh, you know, especially with 2008 here. Uh, a lot of stuff will be innovating in for technology. A lot of stuff will, you know, it's going to be the year of stuff like, you know, wireless and all the other stuff like that. But uh, what I want to talk about today is something that's been relevant in all of technologies, you know, uh, whether you're talking about PCs or Macs. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's been getting there and it's been advancing over time, and that's SSD. I've talked about this before, especially with the release of the MacBook Air. There's also the Lenovo, what is it, the Lenovo X300, I think it is. Uh, if I got that wrong, sorry about that. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, SSD solid state drive is replacing your normal hard disk drive. Now, if you don't know what that is, most likely you have a hard disk drive, and, you know, SSD are m much more, uh, now I can't say much more advanced, but you know they are highly advanced. Uh, you know, as of speeds are not you know really 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 uh, faster than an H HDD or hard disk drive because of its lack of memory as of now and the cost uh, as of now. But what I want to talk about today is Intel to start SSD. Yeah, uh, with the market of you know Samsung, Toshiba, SanDisk of all you know uh, are great competitors in. Uh, are dominating this market. Intel wants to step into the market and really try and uh, let's see, uh, try and uh, get their own SSDs out there and uh, start producing SSDs and start you know dominate, start to dominate this market. Uh, you know, Samsung has a lot of great SSD drives out there. Probably one of the ones that are dominating right now. But uh, now a little background on SSD. It's NAND, it's NAND flash, so that's non verse Sorry, I can never say it's volatile memory. Sorry, call it DDR volatile memory. I'll leave you the wiki on SSDs in the video description. But uh, basically, it's no moving parts, complete silence, because uh, it's you know there's no random re re uh, read and write times. I'm sure if you have an external hard drive or if you have you know a regular hard drive, you probably hear it, you know uh, you hear it read and write the sp the spin. Uh, SSD doesn't do that because it works on flash memory chips or NAND NAND. Micronand technology, so uh, it's silent. You know, it's one key feature to it. It's much smaller than a regular hard disk. Most of them are like, what I think two and a half inches it is, or something like that, or uh, even smaller probably. But uh, and uh, like I said, it's very, very. Uh, so there's thin, lightweight, but they have a lot packed into it because it's using flash memory. And flash memory, you're going to start seeing it more in the computer environment along the years, especially with 2008 uh, with wireless adapting. Starting to get more, uh, you know, with EVDO, public Wi-Fi, uh, cell phone, you know, cell phone broadband stuff like that. Uh, it's, you know, it's really going to collaborate with flash memory and stuff like that. All that type of stuff is going to be really, uh, you'll start seeing it more in 2008. And with Intel, and you know, Intel has this great uh, market with processors. Of course, is what it dominates, and you know, uh, per primarily against AMD. But you know, it's. If uh, we could see that potential within their processors, imagine what they can do with SSDs. Now uh, it says now it plans to introduce a one and a half inch and two and a half inch SSDs for laptops. Most likely you'll see you see SSDs in laptops. Not really. I don't think there's any SSDs with uh, desktops as of yet, just because the thinness and stuff is not really applied. The thinness is really applied into laptops because the lack of size and power and stuff like that. You see more and stuff like the MacBook Pro, the Lenovo. The, there's Dells out there. You know, I don't know. I don't know if there's a desktop yet uh, with SS main, mainly feeding off SSD, just because uh, the noise is concealed within the case, most likely, and it has its own container and everything like that. You have much more space, much more power outputting through a desktop. But who knows? Uh, probably, uh, you know, it's safe to say that soon hard disk drives will be. Uh, it'll be out with the old and in with the new and innovating SSDs into you know and, uh, moving them into desktops and seeing more increased speeds. But anyway, uh, they're releasing, uh, they're planning to release a 80 gigabyte and 160 gigabyte in the second quarter of 2008. So second quarter of this year, 160 gigabyte guys. 80 gigabytes for SSD is a lot as it is because of the lack in size, and, uh, you know, it's all running on flash. It doesn't have, uh, you know, it's, it's not comparing to the size of a hard disk drive. And I'll probably, I'll try and, uh, what do you call it? I'll, but uh, I'll leave pictures and links and stuff in the video description, so make sure to check it out. But you know, really, you don't uh, have a lot of space to contain within SSDs because of its lack of size. It's one of them, and you know, it's running on all on flash, you know, read and write, you no, know, you no know, stuff like that. But 
uh, 160 gigabytes, guys. That's how much my hard disk drive and my desktop runs. So that's gonna be a huge, huge advance in SSD uh, space, and you know, that's gonna give more manufacturers and a lot of uh, you know companies out there the reason to buy SSDs to you know, especially uh, a lot of people who are compl you know uh, the MacBook Airs. Now you can have a lot more space on stuff like this if they do this. If Apple does decide to upgrade to these 160s, depending on their size, of course. Uh, you know, it's really gonna improve the industry standards out there, uh, especially the ones who are using hard disk drives as as of now. So, uh, your regular reading time for uh, I believe is, is this for uh, I have the notes right here. I think it's 100 megabytes per second. Is your is this your reading data here? Let me make sure. let me double check here. Is it, I, I think this is your reading data for. Uh, let me double check. Also, I'll leave a great article link that uh, I found this actually on the blog of CNET, so I'll leave the link to that as well. But let me double check here. Orange megabytes. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's usually it's around 100 megabytes per second, 100 per second for reading data. Just for reading data. Now, a uh, quote by one of the workers here said, uh, we will be supplementing our product line with SATA. So they're going to be offering SATA uh, with about 3 gigabits per three gigabits per, sec per second. Now they're saying, you know, they're going to use SATA too, stuff like that. As of, uh, for, what, what's the others? Uh, they're, you know, so they're going to be implementing SATA into the SSDs. And they said around 3 gigabits per second offering, uh, offering around there. Uh, as for, uh, hang on, let me scroll down my notes here. As for, uh, wait, hang on. As for a ATA and, you know, ATA parallel and all that stuff and set, and there's regular SATA, they're gonna, uh, SATA is what they're implementing in these SSDs, but they said that, uh, for serial, sorry, I got this confused here, serial ATA and regular ATA, uh, they have, that's more used in common hard disk drives, but they won't be implementing that. They want to implement more, implement more with SATA into their SSDs, and they also said uh, an employee, or uh, from, uh, I'm pretty sure this employee from Intel said, Winslow said that Intel recently did a video on demand demonstration uh, where it streamed 4,000 videos simultaneously with using SSD technology. So uh, I don't have that, I haven't seen that video yet, but if I get it, I will post it in the video description. I'll try and get a separate video and post that video up too. But anyway, uh, when they release these, they're going to release these in different forms with the SSD, you know, one and two and stuff like that. But they want to base it on multi multi level cell or MLC, which gives it more space to store uh, st storage and you know read and write times on stuff within each flash memory. It'll be using multi level cells. So what does this mean for you know technology today for the future? Well, of course you can see much much faster improvement in speeds, and you can see much more memory being stored on SSD. And you know, uh, the really only downside of SSD is the prices. But within two years, guys, the materials that'll be used to SSDs, uh, it'll be such a, a standard with the manufacturers that it's going to lower in prices. You know, it's going to be easier to obtain within not only laptops but probably desktops and mobile devices. Uh, guys, with the improvement of SSDs over time, and with companies like Intel joining in, in to, you know, to the race. Uh, who knows if other companies, you know, even AMD could even jump in if they wanted to. But really, guys, we're going to have to see how it plans out. SSD uh, uh, in the future, the prices are going to drop surely within, I say, two years, even maybe the second quarter of 2009, you're going to start seeing them implemented in more machine standard. Dell has been following the line. You've seen the MacBook Air follow the line. Lenovo has followed the line. There's a lot of machines out there, guys. Uh, so really, we're just going to have to sit and wait. And over time, guys, of course, SSD will drop in prices. Anyways, guys, check out the link for the blog on CNET that I uh, will post. It's a great, great article. I suggest you read through it all. Uh, but yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, little segment on Intel Switch, to ed uh, not, not Switch, but to start producing their own SSD solid state drives. Uh, anyways, guys, make sure you check out the link. If you want to email me, uh, email, I always point this way. It's this way, YouTube flips it around. Anyways, uh, if you want to contact me, contact me at kidgurucenter at gmail.com. You want to catch me live stream 24-7 broadcast 365, uh, unless there's 
internet connection problems, stuff like that, then we're not 365 all year round if there's errors. Anyways, you can, call, you can see me at ustream.tv slash kidguru, or ch check out the blog at kidguru-techworld.blogspot.com. You can find me on iTunes at, just type in Tech World under Podcast Technology or Kid Guru and you'll find me. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.